All right, so welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you how the app works to summon a ride because a couple people asked about that. There we go. Okay, so you can see I am in the middle of the service area, roughly speaking. Uh, we can go choose a destination. I've already gone to Fry's a lot, so I'm gonna say, so when I zoom in here, you can see everywhere you look, there's uh, drop-off spots marked. So if you zoom in, it's actually kind of like splines. Um, so you can kind of move these around. It's very, very precise, you know, and then it'll go around like a cul-de-sac. Um, yeah, so they, it's basically like this all over the service area. So here are my saved places. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Circle K because you know, that's an old reliable place to go, I suppose. Short little trip. Ah, oh, that one's a little too close for a whole video. So let's see about Circle K. 4040 West Chandler Boulevard. Okay, see, now this one I know this one used to be on the map, uh, but now it's not, uh, so you have to walk, basically, that's what I said. It's going to drop you off here, and then you have to cross the street, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, oh well, I guess they got to work on that. And again, this is a bit too short for a ride, so we're going to go... All right, let's see. So I'm going to go, I'm going to pick right here and then update drop off. So that should have a nice little balance of stuff. So I can, I, this is not required, but I can just select that. Uh, and we can go ahead and hit next. Has your typical safety reminders. And then I'm gonna go ahead and request a car. So now we've requested a car. You can see it'll be at the spot, right? And it'll tell you where it is, what it's doing, like if it's approaching a stoplight. Um, it's not doing that right now though. So say that's not quite close enough for me because I'm lazy and I don't want to walk more than 10 feet. I'll put it right there. So it'll update it, and then it'll stop pretty much right here. Change was completed. And it looked, I think these animations are Lottie files. Uh, so just in case anyone knows what that is, now you know. Um, so we have the initials thing right here. Nope, as you can see, it will not accept numbers, only letters, and there you go. I like this color, so. This. Yeah, see? Stop sign. What is my Waymo doing? I thought I thought in the trademark rules you're supposed to say, what is my Waymo car doing? But what, whatever, right? They, they said they'd fix it in the next release, and they didn't, so whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically, it'll do that for stoplights and all that jazz. Um, here's the support page. COVID-19 health and safety. I'm just gonna rapidly scroll down here in case anybody wants to read it. Da, 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 da. Okay, have fun with that. Um, and then this will like, if you this, if you try and call that number, it'll just say, oh, no, no number found, doesn't exist, right? But they'll call you, it's like they're using some kind of trickery there. Like, I guess, direct to voicemail. Uh, 
see. Yeah, FAQs. You got your trip history. You can also just see my trip history in the spreadsheet. Here's what a trip history thing would look like. Um, accessibility options. Payments. About privacy policy. Yeah, this is all public stuff. You can go find it. Um, but yeah, this is basically the app. Uh, they're supposed to roll out the multi-stop trips thing today, but that's not going to be... Yeah, I, I haven't. I, I don't have it yet, so we'll see about that. But yeah, there you go. There's your basic tour of the app. Oh, actually, what does this button do? Oh, okay. This is So this is basically the same thing as in the... I haven't actually clicked on that for some reason. <laughs> That's the same thing as in the car. All right, sweet. Well, we'll just call that good. Right, so yeah, there you go. So, oh yeah, there we go. Um, now the app says that the car is ready. I don't know if that's gonna focus, but uh, there you go. We'll see. Good afternoon, Joel. This car is all yours with no one up front. Dang well is. Let's do it. Heading to Fiesta Crossing, please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the help button to speak with a rider support agent. Yeah, they keep tweaking the voice model, dang it. <laughs> it's nice, it's just un a little bit jarring because I'm so used to the other one. Yeah, well. I'm going to try something new today, possibly. I'm going to back up a little bit on the screen camera and then try and stabilize it in post. Because the GoPro processing takes so long at this point, I might as well just like... No? What, what more could a little stabilization processing hurt? Whatever. I'll go with all in on this. Especially because I didn't bring my gimbal today. But I thought my other camera had an SD card in it, and it didn't. So... Oh wow, look at this blind corner. Gee whiz. going over the lane. What? Is because we have enough space? That's cool. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it always goes over the lane markings for the right turns, but I just didn't expect it to squeeze in there. That's really nice. Okay.
list, but music. Uh, more music. Which way are we sick? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, if they're gonna put the turn signals back, I would very much like for them to put everything back. And, you know, the bars, there used to be bars here on the left and right side. That would tell you. Oh! Ooh, ooh, surprise construction thingy. Are we gonna get hand signal demos today? Maybe. Uh, no, we're not. Uh, that's disappointing. Okay. See, what I was planning on doing possibly was purchasing a safety vest and taking my hard hat from work. And then, like, standing in a controlled area with nobody in it. putting cones around and then signaling at the car with my hand and seeing if it, you know, but uh, I'm gonna have to try that when there's a safety driver in the car, or like have one of my family members do that, because <laughs> then with the safety driver you can see if remote assistance is watching, I bet, I bet you they might do. Okay, those are, what, how did it do that? Okay. So I was about to point out how the Easter decorations on those people's lawns uh, were being falsely recognized as pedestrians, but no, as far as I can tell, I'm gonna go back and check in the edit, no, it perfectly recognized those two people in the car and not the lawn decorations. I, I don't even know how it saw that person in the driver's seat because I couldn't even see him at all. Any, what? How did it do that? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, pretty robust. If I do say so myself. Um, let's see. Pretty robust pedestrian detection, rather. Uh, yeah. I take, the more places I start to recognize, the more it's like, I think I came over here for the, the Sweeties candy video. Huh. It's kind of a bonus, because then I start to, I lived here since 2006, barely even gone around some of these parts of the city, so kind of cool to, you know, look around a bit more, get familiar with it. Unprotected left. Cool construction stuff on the left side here. See if we can go past that on the way back. Probably not, but we'll see. Longer-ish vehicle up there. I'm kind of moving. Oh, another screen glitch. Might be a display cable issue. Uh, is that Sweetie's candy? Might be. Uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. No, I don't think so. 
why do I talk? I'm just making more editing work for myself. If I can get through editing this 360 footage without Premiere crashing my whole computer 60 times. It's a miracle the last video even got made. I thought the, one, the last one was that. I need to upgrade my computer. Now's not a really good time to do that. <laughs> NXP semiconductor on the left there. I work at a different semiconductor company. Not at, not for, but at. Very important distinction there. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there goes the stabilization. Roadside assistance checks without messing up the camera as hard. Yep, I don't see him. Uh, rolling forward. Tiny bit of heavy braking, but not that much. Uh, really dense traffic now. Excellent. Love to see it. Francisco expansion. I might take a day trip over there and check it out. See if that happens. said try it today for the multi-stop trip thing and uh, it's still uh, not rolled out for me so I guess they have like eight more hours to roll it out before I can not try it today <laughs> they did because I saw a bunch of doubters in the, in the Twitter comment section like, oh, you mean three months? And I was gonna, I wanted to screenshot it for them and say, hey, there it is, but no, it's not.
and all those vehicles totally recognized, placed perfectly, speed matches, size matches. Wonderful. Roadside assistance. It's probably nothing interesting. I mean, it's, eh. I, I kind of wish it was something like a, like it accidentally was flashing the the dev version of this on the screen, but then we could get something cool out of it. But no, it's probably just. A, Swipes down there, and then it says kills COVID 19 virus. And we've been here so long, been like this so long that they had time to add that to their product design and then have it fully roll out and then end up in a self driving autonomous vehicle. I think that's kind of depressing. But yeah, the vaccines are opening up on the 24th. I think. Okay. Wednesday, the 24th at 8 a.m. All Arizona residents over the age of 16 are eligible. Hooray! I'm, I'm 20. I could already get it because I was an essential worker, but no, just didn't yet. Because I was Waymo invited me to a research study, and then they just ghosted me, and then I didn't get it. I didn't get to be a part of it. It was supposed to be today or tomorrow. So I cleared my whole schedule, and then they were like, oh, sorry, all the slots are filled. But I was like, I selected every available session. Every single one. <laughs> it's like, okay, maybe they don't want power users to try and figure out what the general public wants, but... Ah, whatever. No, yeah, that's okay. I get it. It's like, Joel, you prioritized a research study over getting a vaccine? I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know, last time I got a... I'm not, uh, last time I got a research study invite from Waymo was late 2019, and they, they pulled the same thing then. They're like, sorry, not enough slots. Like, okay. And back then, I only had, like, ten rides, so I would have been perfect for this. For that, rather, but... Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Got some people staring at us. Fun times, as always. know how long it knew how long it was gonna take but I only figured it out in the edit. Bye. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's like, what? what? the heck is that thing? Yeah. That's great. Okay, actually, this is a bit sketchy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and change my destination back to uh, East Valley. Arriving shortly at Fiesta Crossing. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination and remember to take all your belongings. Let's do that. I'm just going to split the video right here and all right, see you later.